everybody and welcome to my channel. If this is the first time that you are on my channel then hello there, I am Rebecca Jade, it is nice to meet you and thank you for coming to watch my video. If you're a returning subscriber and you're thinking, Rebecca, what's up with your hair, have you changed it? Yes I have! I've now got blonde highlights and I must say I'm rather enjoying it. I am hoping that it's coming out on this video, if not I'm gonna cry. <laughs> right, down to business. Soon enough, People are going to be starting to go back to university. Um, it is around, well, it's the beginning of September now, so around this time of year, everyone starts going to university. Whether you are returning there, or, where, or you may be a new person going to university this year. If that is you, then congratulations on going to university, and I am proud of you. Mwah. I have been to university, and I spent three years at Anglia Ruskin in Cambridge, some of the best years of my life, not gonna lie, they were genuinely the best years of my life thinking about it. And I have just finished, well, not just finished, last summer, uh, summer 2016, I finished uh, my one year course at drama school. And I feel like on this channel I've spoken a lot about my drama school experience, but I haven't necessarily spoken about my uh, university experience. So, for this week's video, I'm going to give you my top five things of how to survive university, or, you know, kind of more top five tips for handling university if you're about to go to uni this year. Number one, it is really, really essential to take pots, pans, forks, spoons, cups, literally everything that you think of that you use in your house right now, it is genuinely essential just to take it with you like restock everything that you have. I applied to uni really late compared to all of my friends because I want to go to drama school. Um, I mentioned this in my clearing video which you should totally watch if you are actually going through clearing because I like to think that it gives a lot of good helpful insights towards going through clearing. But that meant that I literally had a month just to get myself ready for university which, not gonna lie, it was a bit stressful. It made me stressed, it made my family stressed because I had to find somewhere to live but one of the main things I would say about whether you already know you're going to university or whether you are like in the doing what I did and you have a month or you had a month to get yourself prepared for it, buy everything, just every household thing that you think you need, you are going to need, most definitely. And I would say buy good cooking and kitchen equipment because I know throughout the first year you're probably going to be living off pot noodles and cheese on toast because that is what I lived off of when I was in my first year of uni but trust me when it gets to second and third year you're going to thank yourself later because you will have those essential equipment sources to actually make some top food like I got to third year and it was all my housemates who brought things into the house and there was me kind of like oh I don't know how to use this so get ahead of the game people and buy some cooking equipment so that throughout your first year of uni, you can become the chef of your neighborhood or of your household. Helpful hint number two. Literally join the club, like join every club that you find interesting. I did uh, singing, I did dance classes, I took acting, well I joined an acting club. I joined this club that was like, it wasn't taekwondo or anything like that, it was kind of like a it was something to do with like meditation with like karate style. I just remember that like incessantly this one class we did it was punch the monkey, steal his banana. And that was literally like what we did for our most of this class once. I can't remember the name of it. I went to this class with my friend Alex. So Alex, if you're watching this video and you know what it that class is, please leave a comment down below telling me what class this is because I cannot for the life of me remember what I did. But yeah, join it the club that you find most interesting. Like join multiple clubs, go to many of the clubs. You've got so many different societies that you can take a part of. And I didn't take advantage of all of that. I didn't take advantage of going to all of the um, different classes that I thought were interesting. I mean, I went to, as I say, dance classes and stuff, but by the end of the first year, I kind of, it got to second year and third year and I thought to myself, damn, I wish I had stayed committed to doing these things. Because by going to these clubs, then you're going to actually get to know people. You're going to make new friends a lot quicker than if you were just staying at home doing nothing. And that is literally kind of, not that I was bad at moving away. It was just more a case that I stayed at home a lot because I am an introvert, believe it or not. I am actually a bit of an introvert. And 
the idea of going outside really terrified me. Like I remember the first time I was going to a social gathering, like that was set up by uni. I think it was like the first week. I went to the social gathering set up by uni for my department and I was like literally five minutes before I left the house I was just sat in my room crying because I was like oh god I'm homesick I don't know what to do and then I kind of said to myself no snap out of it get out of the house and go and meet new people so I did walking down the road wiping tears off my face I said I'm gonna meet new people and lo and behold that's where I met Alex who actually became my best friend throughout university so Good things happen from leaving the house and joining clubs and going to these social gatherings and stuff. So definitely join a club, join at least three so you can get to meet new people and do new things. If there's something you've always wanted to do and there's a society at your university of that thing you want to do, of that hobby, bloody well do it. It looks great. Do it. Okay, rule number three that I would say. Make an effort with your housemates. Like, this can go across the board for whether you're first year, second year, or even third year. I, because as I say, I joined university really late. So I found a house through university from them helping me get a house. It wasn't halls or anything, so I never experienced halls while I was at university, but I had a student house. And in this house in my first year, I shared with one BA honors, grad, or honors student and then two master's students. So the, ma the, the guy who was doing a three year course like me, he was out a lot of the time, so I ended up spending a lot of my time at home with these two masters grad or master's students. One of them was great, she was lovely. The other one was absolutely horrible. I call her a Monica, like, she was very much like Monica Geller, but on a horrible, nasty level. Like, she wanted to clean everything all the time. Literally, it was kind of a case of if I left a plate on the side because I was, you know, going to eat what I had made on for this plate, or whatever, like cooking it things she would leave me a message saying please tidy up and I'm like I have just left this for two minutes girl what's your fucking deal <sighs> make the effort to at least get to know your housemates because I feel like if I had at least sat and talked to her and tried to make friends with her then my first year wouldn't have been so lonely fun story actually ah! <laughs> so with this bitch right this bitch so I was at home eating my food, watching TV, she came through to the living room and said to me, okay, so I'm off to go to um, have a meal at this pub. Um, and when, say, when our other housemate, let's call her Sandra, when Sandra gets home, can you please tell her to come to this pub? So I was like, yeah, yeah, cool. And before she left, she said, um, can you not come? And I'm like, I beg your pardon? She was like, can you not join us, basically? And I was like, Sure. So, I mean, I never saw Sandra that night, but Monica really fucked me off that night by saying that. I mean, this was towards the end of the year after we had argued a fair bit, but little things like that, little awkward encounters like that can be avoided if you actually try and make the effort. I mean, in my second year also, a quick, pardon me, a quick story. Um, I, I moved into my house in my second year with some of my friends and we had this one guy who was going into his first year to move in with us. Literally, we saw nothing of him throughout this entire year and he left uni at the end of that year. Now, whether it's because, you know, personal reasons or this, that and the other, I just keep thinking we could have made it a mo lot more nicer for him, like his first year of uni experience nicer for him if we had involved him in a few more things. And so, you know, I'm sorry if you ever watch this and you know this is about you. I'm so sorry. We did want to be your friend because you were really nice. But yeah, make the effort to get to know your housemates. It makes life so much easier and it makes life so much more pleasant just to wake up in the morning and be like, I can get on with these people. It is great. A fun, nice little one for rule four for you. Forks are always missing. So this kind of links back to my uh, first point about making sure you have everything. But genuinely, forks will go missing all the time. And if you're in a house share, then they just go missing even more. Like there's always that one person that hoards like six forks in their room. Even to this day, when I'm living with four other people, at least one of them hoards all the mother effing forks. So stock up at least maybe three packs of forks of like four. So you have like 12 forks. It just means you're not gonna go running out of them anytime soon. Or maybe have like a hidden stash underneath your bed somewhere. That's the point as well. Keep a stash of toilet paper around you as well. Especially if, say, you're not massively comfortable with your housemates just yet. 
by like say halfway through the year, always keep some toilet roll underneath your bed because it's, it's gonna happen that you're going out of toilet roll one day and you're not gonna be like, you're just gonna, gonna be like, oh damn it. So you just, you know, go into your bed, pick out the toilet roll and then off you pop. But on a serious note though, pack loads of forks. The amount of times I get into arguments with my housemates and got into arguments with my housemates at uni over missing forks is unbelievable. So finally, helpful hint number five. Just go to the damn lecture. Like, I was never one for partying a massive amount, but okay, yeah, towards the end of third year I got I went partying, but especially in first year, just go to the damn lecture. I mean, yeah, university is all about having fun and enjoying yourself, but you go to uni to also get the qualification to get the degree, essentially. So why waste that opportunity to get a really good degree with a really great mark just because you wanted to go out with your mates? I mean, drinking is going to be there when you leave university. Heck, you're gonna have more opportunities to go drinking after university because you've got so much more free time. And I know there's people out there who'll probably be like, oh, well, just don't go to the lecture because you've got a hangover. I mean, like, you know, there's more lectures, but you don't know what you're gonna miss in that lecture. This is my serious, helpful hint. So just go to the damn lecture and make all of the notes that you can, because in first year, yeah, maybe, like, first year for me in particular, when it came to, like, grades and stuff, I was doing really well, and then someone told me that first year grades don't count, which destroyed my soul. But if I had had that same enthusiasm and that same kind of drive to do well in my um, classes for third and second year, I could have left university with a much better grade than I did. I mean, I left with a 2-2, two, two, which isn't terrible, but I could have left with a 2-1 or even higher if I tried. I know some people who get a first and they manage to adjust, or they manage to balance their life so well between going out and being, you know, studying and stuff. It is possible, so just go to the damn lecture. Don't miss a lecture because it is so, so important to actually go to those classes. I know some people who missed pretty much most of the year and lo and behold, they got shite results. I don't want to be a bore with this, but yeah, just go to the class because it's not going to kill you to spend a couple hours a day learning something about what should hopefully be something you're passionate about or else why are you even doing the course. So yeah, those are my top five pieces of advice about going to university. Um, I'm going to make another video about my specific uni experience, kind of going into a bit more detail about that, but I just wanted to make this video for people who are kind of going over to university within the next couple of weeks so you can get a couple of ideas in your heads about what type of things should be good for you to do. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video guys, give it a thumbs up, remember to hit the subscribe button because I need more subscribers, I'm nearly at 100 guys, come on, give me 100 subscribers and I will do a fun challenge for you. Or if you're watching this after I've done 100 um, subscribers then, you know, give me a challenge anyway. I'll, it'll be fun to do. But yeah, I hope you have enjoyed the video and I hope to see you all again next week. Bye everyone!